What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 71st Jailbreak Update episode and we have some really, really great news to talk about today. So of course in this episode we're going to be talking all about the iOS 12 Jailbreak. Something just got released yesterday, something also got announced yesterday, just a lot of stuff to talk about in this video that I think you guys are going to get really excited about. Now there is a lot of information packed into this video so definitely sit back and watch the whole video. I will probably answer your question at some point during this video so make sure to watch it all the way through. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys remember episode 70 last week, the main thing we talked about in that video was MinSpark Zing and how he may actually be releasing an exploit for iOS 12. And you can see this is the tweet that I showed in that video, basically just the exploit that he did demo on Twitter. Well, now he and the guy that he was working with published a write-up actually explaining the XNU kernel zone. So you can see here the title of the article is iOS Jailbreak Internals 3, some features in XNU kernel zone. And basically MinSpark Zhang goes on to explain his research and show examples of it all. But even after reading through all of this, it doesn't really do much for anybody except for security researchers, of course. This could potentially help some security researchers and hackers out there to possibly develop a jailbreak, but this doesn't really seem like something very, very important when it comes to actually developing Developing a jailbreak for something like iOS 12.1.2. So yeah, he did actually release a write-up about this exploit, but it's not really anything to get too excited about. So let's switch over to something that you can get excited about. And this news comes courtesy of Brandon Azad of Google's Project Zero. And you can see here, he posted this yesterday on Twitter. If you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, including the ability to forge PACs and call arbitrary kernel functions, keep an A12 research device on iOS 12 12.1.2. So this is excellent news to see, and you can see the excitement from important people like Min Spark Zeng, which we just talked about. It's pretty awesome to see that he's excited as well, along with the guy that Min Spark Zeng was actually working with on the exploit that we talked about at the beginning here. And to get more insight into this kernel exploit, let's take a look at Apple's security page for iOS 12.1.3. So you can see here that it shows all of the exploits that have been patched in 12.1.3, of course, which did get released yesterday. And going down to the kernel section, you can see here that there's actually two kernel exploits from Brandon Azad. So we aren't really too sure which one will be released or if maybe both will get released, but you can see here that both work on the iPhone 5S and later. And this is kind of a big question as well because he did post in that original tweet that you should keep an A12 device on 12.1.2. So a lot of people thought that maybe this only works for the 2018 iPhones, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. But according to Apple security page, this exploit, both exploits, work on iPhone 5S and later. So yes, once this exploit does get released from Brandon Azad, it's going to tremendously help aiding in a jailbreak for iOS 12.1.2 and below. Now I'm sure here are where the questions are going to start where you guys are gonna ask, should I update, should I not update, what should I do? So first of all, if you're on iOS 12, it's kind of a toss up right now. I mean, the, the rule of thumb, the general rule of thumb that you know most people usually follow is to stay on the lowest version possible. But we have so many exploits coming out for 12.1.2 and below, it makes it really hard to stay on something like 12.0 or 12.1. So I will say that it's usually best rule of thumb to stay on the lowest version possible. However, myself personally, due to the amount of bugs and just things that don't really work well on earlier versions of iOS 12, I'm personally updating most of my devices to 12.1.2 in order to prepare for this jailbreak. Now, on the other hand, if you're on iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1, I would stay there because a jailbreak for those versions are definitely gonna come before an iOS 12 jailbreak. However, with that being said, an iOS 12 jailbreak is definitely gonna come sometime in the future. I mean, it may be months from now still, it could be weeks from now, we don't know, but an iOS 12 jailbreak is coming. So if you want those features that you have on iOS 12 that you don't get on iOS 11, I would consider upgrading to something like iOS 12.1.1, 12.1.2, something like that. Because obviously iOS 11 is slower than iOS 12. You also have worse battery life and just a lot of missing features as well, group FaceTime, you don't have some of the emojis, things like that. So. Uh, I mean, I can make a case for updating to iOS 12 as well. It just really depends on your situation and your preference. So I will touch on the whole should you update or not near the end of this video as well, uh, because we still have more news to get into. But also I will respond to your questions down below. Maybe you're in a situation that I can help say what you should or shouldn't do. So leave a comment down below if you're still wondering what you should do. Now, another interesting thing that I noticed in the security notes of iOS 12.1.3 is that Ian Beer is also credited here with a pair of kernel exploits 
right here. So you can see we know that Ian Beer has released exploits in the past that have led to jailbreaks. And he did also say that he was going to release an exploit a while back, but he still has not done so. So I'm not saying that he will be releasing the iOS 12.1.2 exploit or maybe even both, but he definitely has a couple of them. As you can see here, they were reported from Apple. So yeah, this is all great news about things that could be coming in the future and things that will be coming in the future. But let's now turn our attention to something that actually did get released just yesterday from Sorry My Bad. So yesterday, Sorry My Bad tweeted out, here is the POC of the bug I used to jailbreak before. It can work before 12.1.2. The blog post about exploit on A12 will come soon. And then he later posted a link to his blog post where he wrote very extensively about this exploit and also posted a video demo of the exploit running on an iPhone 10s. So you can see here that he does have terminal running on the device, so that's always great to see. Another very interesting thing about this exploit is that it's actually Safari based, so we could have a potential jailbreak me style jailbreak from this proof of concept. I mean, it's just a proof of concept. It's not an actual exploit. We didn't actually get a jailbreak tool or anything like that. It's still a proof of concept, but it could definitely lead to a potential jailbreak me style jailbreak for iOS 12, which would be incredible. And again, inside of this blog post is a lot of very valuable information, a lot of very valuable code, and just information that security researchers and hackers can take and potentially build a jailbreak out of. And since this proof of concept was released, Pwn to Own posted this on Reddit. I have tested, sorry my bad's POC code on iOS 11, and I can confirm that the bug exists and it leads to a kernel panic. Updating Uncover for iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 will be a matter of adding the new kernel exploit that provides a clean kernel task port. Whereas iOS 12 will require multiple jailbreak patches to be updated and new patches to be written. So this just goes back to what I was talking about earlier where I said an iOS 11 jailbreak, an iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 jailbreak is going to be coming before an iOS 12 jailbreak, obviously because pretty much everything has already been written for iOS 11 in terms of you know jailbreak code and things like that. Obviously, according to that Reddit post, you can see why it's actually going to take longer for an iOS 12 jailbreak to get released, even if we do have the exploits. So yeah, if you do want a jailbreak as soon as possible, obviously stay on iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1. However, you could make a really good case again for updating to iOS 12, 12.1.1, uh, 12.1.2, .1, something like that, because an iOS 12 jailbreak is inevitable. It's going to come at some point. It's just going to take a little bit longer. And to have somebody else chime in, here's what Jonathan Levin, aka Morpheus, had to say on Twitter. He said, iOS 12.1.1 and 12.1.2 have never looked this attractive, and the window will close very soon. Ditto for tvOS and watchOS. No, I will not be releasing a jailbreak, but me think somebody else might. And then he put it in layman's terms right here, basically saying to stay on a lower version or not. You're choice, but yet another voucher bug has been patched in 12.1.3. So yeah, if you're deciding whether or not to update, just kind of take everything in from this video and make up your mind based on your specific scenario. Obviously, this is a really good time to have multiple devices as well, that way you can have one potentially on iOS 11 and also on iOS 12. But I understand that most of you guys probably do not just have multiple iPhones laying around. But again, I am personally updating most of my devices to iOS 12.1.2 because I can see a jailbreak coming for 12.1.2 and below in the near future. So yeah, I hope you guys are as excited about this upcoming jailbreak as I am. If you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future jailbreak update episodes. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.